first order of business, I want to congratulate the city of Miami, um, uh, Miami's uh, MLS team, because they have acquired Lionel Messi for all intent and purposes. The superstar soccer player has decided that he's going to depart uh, from the PSG League, uh, the Paris Saint Germain or Germain. I forgot the name of it. I'm just trying to elocute with some French, but I don't know any damn French. So you're going to have to forgive me for that. I'm going to say Paris Saint-Germain. I'm going to go with that, okay? He's departed from that league to um, bring his talents to South Beach. I mean, this is a very, very big deal, ladies and gentlemen. This dude, even though he's 35 years of age, is a superstar. This is not David Beckham coming to the United States and joining the L.A. Galaxy in the MLS in 2007 where he was clearly beyond his prime. This is a different animal right here. Lionel Messi literally, literally just finished coming off the World Cup. This man is the real deal. Make no mistake about it. He's something special, even at the age of 35. And as I look at him and I look at some of these numbers and some of the things that he's accomplished, I just can't say enough about him right now. It's, in, it's incredibly impressive, believe it or not. He just finished winning the World Cup, just finished winning it. And he decides to depart to bring his talents to Miami, Florida. Now, Listen, we don't want to disrespect anything in the United States of America. We try to big up our country as much as we possibly can, but this is a virtual G League compared to all of those leagues in Europe. We got to understand it. We got to respect that. So think about the star that he was over in Europe and think about him coming here to a virtual G League compared to the competition he's accustomed to facing. Do you, can you imagine what he is going to do to kind of show that he's going to put on how sensational this man is? It's a very big deal, a very big deal. He said, I've made the decision that I'm going to Miami. I still don't have it agreed upon 100% and a few things are needed, but well, we decided to continue my path there, Messi said. After winning a World Cup and not being able to return to Barcelona, it was my turn to go to the league of the United States to live football in another way and to enjoy the day-to-day -day more. Obviously, with the same responsibility and desire to play well and do things well, as always, but in a calmer way. Calmer, as in C-A-L-M-E-R. We all see the footage. If you're, not, if you're an American citizen and you don't get the opportunity to go up to Europe, over to Europe, all you could go is by what you see on television. But he would know because he's from Argentina. He played in Paris. He played in various leagues. played in Barcelona. You understand what he brings to the table. He knows a thing or two about life over there. It's incredibly intense. You got, they live for this stuff. And they're ready to do harm to people who don't give max effort. Could you imagine load management going on over in Europe with their soccer leagues? Could y'all imagine what that would be like? I'm looking at my staff over here. Could you imagine what it would be like if somebody tried to engage in load management over in Europe playing for soccer? There would be blood in the streets. You'd hear about an athlete passing away, God rest his soul. That's what you'd hear about. They ain't playing that nonsense over there. So let's just understand that, okay? One of the things that pointed out here, though, is this. This is what I'm talking about here. Sources confirmed that ESPN's Jeff Carlisle that terms include an option for part ownership of Inter Miami. That's the team he's coming to join. A last place team, by the way. Not only is it the G League, but it's the last place team in the G League. That's who Lionel Messi is now joining. It includes an option for part ownership of Inter Miami, but would not be subsidized by the league as they did for David Beckham in 2007. When Beckham moved to the LA Galaxy, he was given the option to purchase an MLS team for a discounted price of $25 million. ESPN also confirmed that a cut of revenue from new, from new subscribers to Apple TV's MLS season past streaming service was part of the negotiations. So there's a lot of people that's going to try to get sanctimonious, and they're going to try to sit up there and say, you know what? He wasn't the live golfers. He didn't want to go over to Saudi Arabia. He wanted to make sure to exercise his conscience. And that's why. Could it ever occur to you that the 400 million that reportedly the Saudi Arabians club Al Halil or Hilal, Al Halal for the Saudi Arabian club? It ever occur to y'all that the 400 million dollars they offered Lionel Messi reportedly ain't nothing compared to what he's going to get from this deal if it includes new subscribers to Apple TV's MLS season pass streaming service if that's a part of the negotiations plus Adidas is a part of the negotiations plus the salary from the team is a part of the mix he very well could end up with over 400 million in the long run it's about dollars ladies and gentlemen and this man is getting some of it 
I'd like to point out that when I titled this particular episode, Hypocrisy Reigns, if an NFL or an NBA player got that kind of deal, even if it was a superstar that was worth it, do you know how they would react to that in the United States of America? Do you know how they would react to that? You know the answer to that. But I'm not going there yet. Give it a few minutes. <laughs> 